Hello class! Welcome to our channel. This is Alan Shane at your service. So thank you so much class for using Alan Shane's tutorial for you to be able to know more about accounting. Don't for forget to like, subscribe our YouTube channel. So our topic for today is all about what? It's all about qualities that financial statements should possess. So what are the qualities that financial statements should possess so the new framework of accounting mentions that the following are the qualities that financial reports should possess to be more useful to it so first first quality that the financial statement should have is understandability when we say standard understandability, it means what? This means that financial statements should be prepared and presented in a way that it can be understood by the users. So, therefore, understandability is very important because in the financial statements, we have many different users. In our next video, we will discuss also the users of financial statements. So, ma makikita natin dito or malalaman natin sa ating, sa ating next videos who are the users of the financial statements and what is their reason or why is those users need financial statements. So, that is why you have to prepare that it should be understood because users are expected to study the financial information with reasonable diligence and assume to have what? Reasonable knowledge reasonable knowledge of the business. So, it should have reasonable knowledge of the business, economics, and at the same time, accounting that is why understandability is one of the qualities that financial statements should possess okay second quality second quality is the reliability when we say reliability it is the financial information should carry the what degree of confidence so Therefore, in the financial statements, it should carry degree of confidence when used by interested parties. How is it? So, users are ex... Uh, uh, this means that users make informed or uh, it must be to make it reliable, it must be what? Free from what? Free from material error. So, if the financial statements is free from material error, we can gain confidence. And if we have this degree of confidence, it means that the financial statements is reliable. So, because if it, it, if it is free from material error, so it will lead to material, it will lead to to it will not lead to material misstatement and it should be what fairly presented and must be free from bias so in order for the financial statements to be reliable it should be free from material error it should be fairly presented and free from bias Okay, so naintindihan class, understand, na understood. Okay, next is relevance. When we say relevance, this means that financial statements are prepared, intended to help users make informed economic decisions. So, for example, in the balance sheet, it is relevant because the balance sheet will determine what? Why do we use balance sheet? Because, di ba, from our next video, so you can, vi uh, you can also watch our previous videos about balance sheet. 
at tingnan nyo lang sa ating channel para mas malaman nyo pa. So, according to our last video, our previous video, di ba? Balance sheet is relevant because it determines what? It determines financial condition of the business. Okay? So, it determines financial condition of the business. And when we say income statement, it is relevant because it determines what? The financial performance of the entity or the business. So, the uh, following major ingredients describe the relevance of financial statements. And it will help them evaluate past and present economic events and effect corrective measures in the future. Okay, next quality is comparability. When we say comparability, this means that financial statements are what? That financial statements are worth comparing. So, are worth comparing. So, saan i-compare? With the other companies of the same line of business. So, statements are worth comparing with other companies. But, take note that it is of the same line of business. If we will compare, we can point out the uh, the similarities and the differences of the financial statements okay next quality is consistency so financial statements should be consistent when we say consistency it means once a method or practice is selected from alternatives it should be what it should be followed from period to period so kung ano ang ginamit na method or practice so kailangan consistent that we will use that method and practice from period to period para the same ang ginagamit and consistent ang financial statements of that certain entity. The consistency of procedure or method does not only maintain the comparability as one of the quality also of the financial statement of the periodic statements but also implants what reliability in the reports so okay so naintindihan class so i-summarize natin ha so we have these qualities of financial statements so the qualities of financial statements should possess the following first understandability second reliability third relevance fourth comparability and last but not the least, consistency. When we say understandability, it should possess that financial statement should be understood by the users. And it should have what? Reasonable knowledge of the business, economics, and accounting. Reliability, it is should carry a degree of confidence. So, we can say that financial statement has a degree of confidence when it has when it is free from material error it is fairly presented and it is free from bias and the relevance it means that financial statements are prepared intended to make informed economic decisions sa users so it is it is relevance because in the balance sheet it determines that the financial condition of the entity and in the income statement, it determines the financial performance. So, in the comparability, it, it, it means that 
financial statements are worth comparing with other companies of the same line of business. And in the consistency, so once a method or practice is selected, so if ano na yung mga practice at methods na naselect na, it should be followed from period to period. So that's it for our discussion for qualities that financial statements should possess. Hope you like our video and hope you learned something. So class, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and please watch the other videos uploaded because marami kayong matutunan dito class. So thank you class. God bless.